All right, guys, I just finished building my new submarine. This thing is sick. Are you sure that's gonna work? Yes, of course it'll work. Anyways, we're here. You guys can look. All right, and pff, dude, it looks like a lemon. What? It does not look like a lemon. <laughs> yeah, Dash, what is this thing? Are you sure it's safe? It, yes, I'm sure it's safe here. I'll take it for a spin right now. Let me just hop into the captain's seat really quick and see you guys perfectly safe. Oh, uh, wait, Dash, why is there smoke coming out of it? And, wait, what? Uh, wait, wait, what is that? And Oh, no. Wait, I think my engine just blew up. Oh, what the <laughs> heck? <laughs> Dash, I bet I could build a way better submarine. Uh, yeah, me too. Uh, what? No way you guys can build a better submarine than me. Uh, you know what? I'm building another one too. Mine is definitely going to be the best. Uh, yeah, sure. Whatever you say, but whenever mine beats yours, uh, just don't cry. And what, Kim? Your submarine is not going to beat mine. My submarine is going to be the most epic, big, uh, the luxurious submarine you've ever seen. Uh, yeah, sure. Whatever you say. And here, since my submarine is going to be the best one out of all of them, I'm going to make it all out of some purple concrete. This should look pretty awesome. Oh, wait. Concrete? That's a good idea. I'll build mine out of concrete. Yeah, wait, what were you gonna build it out of? Um, I started building out of wool, but, uh, I guess concrete's better. And, uh, what, Ruby, you started building your submarine out of wool? That is a horrible idea! You realize that the water is just gonna leak through your wool? Well, I just wanted it to be pretty. Don't judge me. Yeah, but the whole point of having a submarine is that it's supposed to be waterproof. You don't think I know that? Uh, well, clearly not if you started building with wool. Well, come on! All right, all right, well, anyways, my submarine is looking pretty nice so far. I'm just building up the walls and the roof and everything, and, whoa, wait, Cam, yours is looking pretty sick so far as well. Uh, yeah, I know. It's because I built it. And wait, wait, yours is actually giving me a pretty good idea. I'm gonna build mine a little bit bigger as well. Hey, stop copying me! What, dude? I'm not copying you. I'm just making my submarine a bit bigger. And hold on, this gives me a pretty good idea. Let me just run the command slash slash rond really quick so that I can grab a magic wand. And check it out. Now what I can do is start building my submarine with commands. So here, let me just select this position over here and also this position in this corner. And then if I look this way and run the command slash slash stack uh, 50, check it out. Now I've got like a big long uh, tube thingy for my submarine, but hold up. I think I need to make the submarine a little bit wider as well, because right now it's looking pretty tall, but not really wide enough. So here, let's just select this position over here and also this position all the way over here, and then let's just look this way and run the command slash slash move uh, seven. There we go. Yeah. That's looking a lot wider, but now what we gotta do is fill in the floor over here. There we go. Floor has been filled in, and here, now let's also make a little roof. And there we go. Boom! Alright, guys, the base of my submarine is looking pretty awesome. How's your guys' submarines looking? I've already had the outside done, and I'm working on the spyglass. And whoa, wait, Kim, yours is actually looking pretty cool. It kind of looks like a bigger version of my old submarine. It looks like an even bigger lemon. It's not a lemon, okay? It's way better. I'm um, sure. It's a lemon with a stem. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it kind of does look like a lemon with a yellow stem. I'm pretty sure lemons are supposed to have green stems, Kim. I'm not building a lemon. That's why it doesn't have a green stem, and it's not a stem. It's a spyglass. And okay, okay, if you say so, Kim, but anyway, since the base of my submarine is done, the next thing I need to do is clear out all this water in here. So let me just run the command slash slash drain uh, 100. There we go. Nice. All the water is gone in. All right. Now it's time to actually start decking out the inside of our submarine. So hmm, what's the first thing we need to build? And ooh, wait a minute. Hold on. I think I have a really good idea. What if I make my submarine a battle submarine? So it has like a bunch of cool weapons and stuff on it. So here, I guess the first thing I should put on my submarine are some turrets. And wait a minute. What about some laser turrets? These could be pretty OP. Here, let me just go outside of the submarine real quick. And what I'm going to do is just put down turrets in each corner of the submarine just like that. There we go. We got one over there. Let's put another one down right over here. We have to put down this turret base first and then put the turret on top of it. So let's do another one in this corner. And finally, one last one in this corner. Nice. And here, the final thing we need to get to actually make these turrets work is one of these energy cubes to actually power the turret. So let's just put one of these energy cubes behind each one of these turrets just like this. There we go. And okay, now our turret should be working. Here, let me spawn in a zombie to actually test them out. Let me just spawn in this zombie right over here and oh my gosh check it out okay that kind of worked but none of them really hit the zombie wait why didn't any of them work let me try spawning in a zombie right over here and oh there we go now it worked i think the zombie just had to be a little bit closer but now hold on does it actually work if it's underwater here here, here. let me build a little platform where we can spawn in a zombie and let me just spawn in a zombie right over here and oh Oh my gosh, it works underwater. That is awesome. Wait, Dash, you have turrets that work underwater? And yep, it's pretty OP. I bet your submarine doesn't have turrets that work underwater. I know, but it does have three giant propellers, so I'm super fast. And whoa, wait, you have three propellers on yours? Okay, that does make yours pretty fast. But hold on, I think I need to focus on more defenses. What other types of turrets could I put on my submarine? And <gasps> wait a minute, what about some rocket launcher turrets? Let's just 
just go over here right in the middle of the submarine and let's just put down uh, another one of these turret bases over here and then let's put down a rocket launcher turret on it and then of course we have to power this one again so let's put one of these energy cubes right over there and all right let's see uh, did, are we gonna have a working underwater missile turret thingy let me just build another platform for a zombie real quick and all right here we go come on and <gasps> Oh my gosh, that was so quick. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait. I need to test that out one more time. Let me just spawn in the zombie over here and hold on, wait. These pesky laser turrets are getting in the way. Let me get rid of these real quick and let me spawn in another zombie and let's go rocket turret, come on and wait. What, why isn't it doing anything? And oh, wait, wait, hold on. It ran out of ammo. Oh, that makes sense. I guess I had some ammo to start off with, but I need to put in more ammo. Let me just grab some of these rockets and let me put them inside of the turret just like that. And all right, here, let's test it out now. Is this gonna work? And whoa, it worked. That is awesome. All right, well, now my submarine's got laser turrets and it's literally got uh, an underwater rocket launcher. This thing is awesome. Wait, Dash, you have an underwater rocket launcher? You realize that's just called a torpedo, right? And wait, what? No, it's an underwater rocket launcher. That's what it's called. Uh, no, it's a torpedo. Torpedo. What? Okay, well, the whatever. Torpedo, underwater rocket launcher, same thing. But anyways, what else do I need to build in my submarine? It's looking pretty empty on the inside right now. And <gasps> wait a minute, I got a good idea. What if I build a farm room? Because, you know, if, if people are going to be in this submarine, they're probably going to be down here for a while. And, you know, they're, they're going to need some way to get food. Wait, that is such a good idea. I'm going to put some food in my submarine. And yeah, food is going to be very important. So here, what I'm going to do is just build a room over here on the back of my submarine, just like this. There we go. Oh, Hold on, I need to type the command correctly. There we go. And here, let's make a little bit of room over here in the middle for a door. And all right, wait, what type of door should we even grab? Let's see. And oh, wait a minute. What about this one? This one looks pretty sick. Let's try putting that down over there. And ooh, that door is looking awesome. Okay, let's just have that door over there. This can be our farming room. And anyways, the first thing we have to build in our farming room is, well, the, of course, a farm area. So what we could do is just set this side of the room into some grass. So let me just run the command slash slash set grass. There we go. And then on the other side of the room over here, we can have some animals. Aw, uh, Dash, are you making a petting zoo? And, uh, the what? A petting zoo? No, Ruby, I'm not making a petting zoo. This is gonna be, uh, an animal farm where that we can have food from. Yeah. Oh, okay. Wait, does that mean you have to kill the animals? Oh, I feel bad for them. Yeah, it's kind of like the opposite of a petting zoo. I guess it's a punching zoo then? <laughs> yeah, I, I guess it is kind of a punching zoo. But anyways, let me just fill this area up with a bunch of animals. I'm gonna have some cows, some chickens, some, uh, pigs. Uh, I still got one more room left. What other animal should I put in? Oh, what about a magma cube? Uh, the what? Cam, that is not an animal. Uh, what are you talking about? Yeah, it is. Look at it. Yeah, I think it's an animal. Uh, what? Well, I mean, I guess it's kind of an animal, but you can't really get food from it. And uh, Dude, it's literally just a lava monster. Uh, yeah, well, it's still an animal. Here, I'll just leave you and, a few. Dude, and they're, what are you doing? No, they're gonna, like, bounce everywhere. What the heck? What do you have against magma cubes? They're so cute. And, oh, my gosh. Cam, I have to get rid of all these things now. Let me pull out a sword and, oh, my gosh. What the heck? Well, I'm just giving you some animals. You said you wanted some. Yeah, he's just trying to help. You. Oh my gosh, dude. These are not animals. These are literally monsters. Wow, what a way to hurt their feelings. Okay. What? How would you like it if I spawned a bunch of magma cubes in your submarine? How would you like it if I called you a monster? Yeah. Uh, well, I'm not a monster, okay? Uh, these things are an... Oh my gosh, there's so many of them. How do I get rid of these? Hold on. Wait, I'm pretty sure since magma cubes are like water mobs, I can just put it on a water bucket like this and it should do damage to them, right? And Oh, never mind. They're, they're not taking damage to the water. I thought they would. What? Did you want to damage the poor magma cubes? Yes, I wanted to damage the magma cubes. And okay, there we go. That was the last one. Uh, Cam, you are officially banned from my submarine. What the heck? All right, fine. All right, well, anyways, I guess for this last animal over here, I'll just spawn in a bunch of sheep. I don't know why I didn't think of sheep earlier. But anyways, now that the animal area is done, I got to work on the actual farm over here. So let's see. What type of crops could we be growing here? And ooh, wait, what about literally just everything? We can have some wheat seeds, some pumpkin seeds some melon seed and some beetroot seeds and oh, wait a minute what we also could do is hold on let me grab another wand instead of only having one floor for this farm why don't we just select all of this and then run the command slash slash stack and check it out now we've got two floors and wait i think we might have room for another floor as well let me try slash slash stacking it one more time and oh okay but that, that doesn't quite work let me slash slash undo that real quick hold up wait what we could do is just move the floor down a little bit like over here that way we can fit more floors on yeah okay i think that might be the move let me just use some commands to move down this platform really quick. There we go. 
And okay, there we go. Now we've got four floors to the farm. This is awesome. We've got one floor for each type of seed that we need. So here, the next thing we need to do is grab a hoe. And let's just turn all of this grass into some farmland. Here we go. And oh, wait, hold on. First, we need to put down water. I kind of completely forgot about that. Let me grab a little bit of water really quick. And here, we could just have this entire left side of the farm be made out of water. Oh, wait, actually, what we could do, in fact, forget the idea of making this side water. Instead, let's just have a few holes around the farm. So we could have like one hole over here and then another hole over here going through the entire farm. And then up over here on the top floor, what we could do is put down water just like this inside of all of these holes. And now check it out. We should have like a cool waterfall effect. Okay, hold on. Wait, actually, um... We need to make these holes over here in the bottom floor as well. I kind of uh, forgot about that. We need to have these holes on the floor to catch the water so that it doesn't spill everywhere. There we go. Let's just get rid of all of this extra water. And okay, nice. Now that's what I'm talking about. That looks awesome. Now we can continue hoeing down all of the grass. Alrighty, now that my submarine's all complete, I'm gonna start building the dance floor. And wait, what, Ruby, you're building a dance floor on your submarine? Haven't you ever wanted to dance with the fishies? And uh, no, not really. Uh, yeah, I can't say I have either. No way. Your minds are gonna change once you get here. Uh, I don't know about that, but anyways, now what I gotta do is put down all the seeds in my farm. Wait, why isn't it working? And Oh, uh, wait, hold on. I need to have some sort of light source in here. Let me just grab some torches really quick in here. Let me just put down a bunch of torches over here around my farm. There we go. And okay, now I should be able to actually plant down my seeds. And hey, there we go. Now my farm is working. Farming? Psh, that's so boring. I'd rather just dance on this dance floor. And uh, Ruby, I don't think having a dance floor is really a good idea. I think having food uh, settled first is probably more important than dancing. Are you kidding me? I'll be so bored. Yeah, but being bored is way better than starving to death. Yeah, Ruby, dancing with fishes aren't really that important. Are you guys kidding me? You guys just don't get it yet. Okay, okay, whatever you say, but anyways, my farm is looking pretty sick. It is almost done, and boom! There we go. My farm is now fully done, but hold up, hold up. One last thing I need to add is a ladder over here so that I can actually get up to the different floors of my farm, so there we go, and alright, now my farm is officially complete. This thing is looking awesome. Here, let me make a little floor over here as like a guardrail, just like that, and okay, now it's officially complete. This thing looks awesome! Alright, well, anyways, I've got the farm and I've got the turrets, but hmm, what else do I need to build on my submarine? And whoa, wait, Cam, your submarine's looking pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I know, because I built it. And, wait, wait, your submarine actually gives me a pretty good idea. What if I put a submarine inside of my submarine? What? How does that make sense? No, 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 trust me, it's gonna make a lot of sense. Pretty much what it's gonna be is a backup submarine in case the main submarine goes down or something. Isn't that kind of overkill, Dash? And it, no, 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 it's not overkill at all. Once you're super deep underwater, having a backup plan is uh, very important. Um, okay, I think I get it. And yeah, yeah, it's gonna be really important. I need to have, like, a, a backup submarine to evacuate in in case, like, water leaks inside of my main submarine. So, here, what I could do is just have, like, a little room up over here. And this could be where we have the backup submarine. So, here, let me grab some ladders real quick. And, ooh, here, let me also grab some of these cool-looking sliding trap doors. And we could just put those down over there like that. Nice! And then we'll just have a ladder over here for getting up. And, okay, now what we have to do is build a backup submarine. So, here, I guess I can just build a pretty simple submarine. We're just gonna have it be like this. It's gonna be pretty small. It doesn't have to be anything crazy. All right, all right. This is looking pretty good. Here, I'll put down a door for it right over here in the back. That's looking pretty nice. And all right, now we just have to put down all of like the seats and like that sort of stuff. So here, let's just grab some of these captain's chairs and some of these passenger's chairs and we could just have the captain's chair over there in the front. And then uh, this submarine can fit two passengers. Yeah, we're gonna have two passenger's chairs right over there. Let's grab this thing over here. This is gonna be our control panel for like actually control controlling the submarine, so we'll just put that down over there. And ooh, let's also put down a chest uh, right over here with some backup gear and like food, just in case uh, the people have to stay in this submarine for a while. So here, now let me just fill up the chest with a bunch of steak. There we Ew, go. steak? You're not gonna put in like a donut or something? And uh, what, Ruby, a donut inside of my emergency food chest? That sounds like a horrible idea. Yeah, who wants to eat steak all the time? And, uh, oh, what? Yeah, steak is like the most nutritious food, you know? Uh, I, I think that's probably gonna be more important than eating donuts. Donuts. Well, what about dessert? Uh, uh, for dessert, people can have carrots and apples. Yeah. And ooh, also some golden apples. Me, personally, I want to eat some cake every day. Yeah, I'm not for cake every day, but uh, maybe some variety dash would be good. Ooh, cake and cookies, you're right. And uh, what? No, guys, I'm not putting cake or cookies inside of this chest, but hmm, fine. Maybe I could have some other food. Let's see. What other types of meat is there? And 
Whoa, okay, there was a lot of different types of meat. Ooh, what about a battle burrito? What is a battle burrito? I don't really know, but it looks pretty interesting. I guess I can put some battle burritos inside of the chest, but what else, what else? I've still got room for two more different types of food. What about a moss pie? What, a moss pie? What the heck is a moss pie? Uh, I don't know, probably a pie made out of moss. Isn't moss that stuff that grows on walls? That sounds horrible. Actually, it looks kind of fluffy. I would try it. What? Uh, okay, that's kind of interesting. I don't think I'm gonna put moss pie inside of there. I don't think that's very healthy. Ooh, what about some cooked cephaginous meat? I, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right. Uh, I don't know what you just said. I don't really know either, but it says it's a fish, and it says it's very spicy, so I, I guess some people uh, like spicy food. We can put that in. Wait, Dash, you said you have room for one more, right? And yep. Wait, Dash, what about some cooked chupacabra meat? And, uh, what what the heck is that? Oh, the way I found it. What is it? I don't know, but it looks pretty interesting, so I, I guess I can put some of that inside of the chest. There we go. And All right, nice. Now we've got a nice variety of food. But anyways, now that the emergency backup submarine is done, I need a way to actually get the backup submarine outside of the main submarine. Because right now, it's kind of uh, boxed in and uh, you can't really get out. So here, what I was thinking is, let me grab a command block really quick and we can just put down a command block right over here. And here, let's just go ahead and paste in this command really quick. There we go. And alright, check it out. Now, whenever we put a button here and hit the button, it'll open up the roof of the submarine, which we can use to escape. Well, that actually sounds pretty handy. Yep, it's pretty awesome. But here, let me quickly replace the command to fill the roof with some more purple concrete for now. There we go. And here, let me change it back to fill it with air. And okay, we can just uh, hit the button whenever we're ready. But for now, we need the roof to be made out of concrete. Because otherwise, water is going to leak in. But anyways, now that we've got the emergency escape submarine done, what else do I need to build in my submarine? We're obviously going to need a place to sleep, right? And oh, wait a minute. Actually, yeah, you're totally right. I forgot to build a place to sleep. Okay, well, I need to build some living quarters. And oh, wait a minute. What if I build them over here? I can build like a cool balcony area for the living quarters. That could be awesome. I could just have a nice little balcony over here inside of my submarine just like this. And here, let me also put down a few fences over here just like that. And let me also grab some ladders and put those right over here so that we can actually get up. And all right, all right, it's time to build the best living quarters ever. And here, what I'm gonna do is make some epic bunk beds. This is gonna be awesome. Oh, I just have one really long bed. Oh, I just have a bed right behind my captain's chair in case I get sleepy. And wait, 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 you guys only have one bed in your submarine. What about beds for all the passengers? They're gonna need a place to sleep too. They can sleep on the floor. What? That's gonna be such a bad experience. They're gonna be way too busy having fun to sleep. All right, well, all the passengers on my submarine are gonna get a healthy amount of sleep. That's why I've got so many beds. I don't even know how many I have, but I've got a lot of them right now. But anyways, now that I've got my beds done, hmm, what else do I need to build in a living quarters room? Well, I have my armory inside there. And wait, wait, you have an armory in your submarine? Okay, that's actually a pretty good idea. I should build an armory as well, except it's not gonna be like a normal armory, I'm gonna have just like a bunch of scuba diving gear so that in case you wanna go outside of the submarine, you can. Oh, I don't see why you would wanna go outside the submarine though. Uh, well, what if there's some like uh, cool fish that you wanna capture that are outside of the submarine and you need to go out and capture them? Uh, well then you get a boat and then you start fishing? Yeah, but we don't have boats, we have submarines. Oh, thanks for the idea. Well, how are you ever gonna catch the fish? It's gonna be hard to catch with just your hands. And, oh, oh, the who said we're gonna be catching the fish with our hands? What I'm gonna do is put a bunch of tridents inside of this chest in the middle of my armory room. It's gonna be sick. Wait, tridents? That's so cool. Yep, I know. It's gonna be pretty awesome. And here, I'm putting down all these armor stands and now I just gotta find some scuba diving gear. And ooh, wait a minute. Hold on, hold on. This thing over here looks pretty good. This kind of looks like a scuba diving helmet. And oh yeah, this thing is definitely waterproof. Hold on, hold on. Wait, I need to grab the rest of this armor set really quick. Let me just find all of it. There we go. And okay, yeah, this looks like a pretty good uh, scuba diving outfit. Let me just put all of this armor on these armor stands. Let's go. This looking awesome. Wait, what? Can I see? And oh, oh, yeah, you gotta come check this out. This stuff looks sick. Okay, I'm coming over. Just wait. All right, all right. I've got six sets of scuba diving gear. This is sick, but anyways, what else do I need to put inside of this main chest in the middle? Right now, I've just got a bunch of tridents, but hmm, what else are people gonna need for scuba diving? Wait, Dash, how do I get into your thing? And oh, oh, the, wait, uh, I haven't really thought about that yet. Uh, I guess what I could do is just uh, build a little hole over here, and then I can put down a trap door over here. There we go. Oh, cool. I thought there was a door underwater or something. And, oh, no, I uh, didn't build an entrance yet. Oh, wait, I should also probably put down a ladder. I don't want people just falling in. Yeah, I think it would be a good idea to put a ladder. That drop would be an ankle-breaking distance. And, yeah, I do not want people just dropping into my submarine, but here, I'll put down this trap door here, and then let me grab some ladders, and, all right, there we go. Now, we've got a cool way to actually get in the submarine. But, anyways, Dash, where's that scuba diving gear you were talking and, about? And, oh, oh, the scuba diving gear, it is right over here. Check it out, it's awesome! Whoa, 
these look pretty cool. Can I have a set? And oh, oh yeah, go for it. You can take one, but hmm, I still need to find out what else I should put inside of this chest over here. And oh, wait a minute, hold on. Scuba diving people are gonna need like a tank for oxygen, right? Yeah, they're gonna need a scuba tank. So here, let me grab one of these and hold on. Let me put this on really quick. And whoa, okay, this looks pretty nice. All right, this is definitely gonna be important. Wait, I wanna wear one of those too. Hold on, hold on, wait. Let me put them inside of the chest really quick. There we go. And all right, nice. Now we've got a bunch of scuba tanks. Whoa, this looks sick. Uh, anyways, Dash, thanks. I'm gonna copy this now. Bye. And, wait, wait, it's gonna copy? Okay, I, okay. Wait, Dash, watch out, watch out. Whoa, 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 there's a shark in your uh, face. What Look the out. heck? What is this? The sharks are bridging. Hey, yo, hey, yo, wait, we're spotting a bunch of them. Yo, chill. Oh my gosh, wait, oh, I need to grab a sword. What the heck is all this? The sharks are bringing it. They're eating your animals. Hey, yo, hey, yo, not my animals. Oh my gosh, dude, get these sharks out of here. What is it with you spawning in random mobs in my base? They're not random, they're sharks. First, the magma cubes and now these, where'd you even get these from? Uh, uh, the ocean. I grabbed some sharks and I wanted to place them in your base to see how uh, your base would uh, fare against What the heck uh, is this one over attack. here doing? Why is it spinning around like that? Oh, that's a Sharknado. It's their secret move. Wait, there's a Sharknado? I want to see. Uh, yeah, wait, Ruby, if you could come over here and help me take these out, that'd be much appreciated. There's so many of them. Oh, wait, did I actually get rid of all of them? Oh, wait, hold on. There's still two up here. Wait, take them out? No, they're so cute. No, these sharks are horrible. And, uh, what the heck is this one over here doing? Hi, Widow Shark, you are you making a widow shark needle. Oh, cute. And wait, hold on, Cam. I think since you spawned them in here without any water, they all just died. Except for this one who's kind of inside of the water. Well, at least we know if you have a shark attack dash, then you'll be fine. And okay, I was gonna be fine anyways. We didn't have to test it out. You don't know that? What if they get stronger and they plot their revenge on you? Ooh, that'd be scary. Uh, you know what? Do I really have to add shark defenses inside of my submarine? What type of defenses could I even add for sharks? Um, maybe you could get them a food bowl and like a little nice place to and, sleep. Uh, Ruby, something. that is not defenses. That's just gonna attract more sharks. Sharks and oh my gosh, there's so what the heck? I, I think one of the sharks left a poster here. Oh, that's cute. How can a shark even place a poster? They don't even have arms. Maybe they just like you that much. Okay, okay, but anyways, I need to come up with some defenses in case I do have a shark attack like that. That was horrible. I had to take all those sharks out manually with my diamond sword and Wait a minute, why don't I just put down some more turrets on the inside of my base? Yeah, 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 okay, I think this might be the move. This is gonna stop all of the sharks that uh, somehow get inside of my base. Let me just grab some turrets really quick and... <gasps> Wait a minute, what if I try using this type of turret? I'm pretty sure this is a different type of turret than the ones I was using outside. This one looks pretty cool. Okay, okay, let's put down one of these turrets over here. We can put down uh, one on each floor, so we can have one turret here on this floor. We can have another one over here on this floor, and then we also need one for the animal area over here. Here. And all right, now I'm pretty sure what we have to do is actually customize these turrets and actually put our own weapon inside of it. So let's see, what type of weapon should we put in? And oh, wait a minute, what about a sonic rifle? This thing looks crazy. Let me test it out really quick. And whoa, okay, uh, this should definitely be enough to stop any sharks that try invading my base. Okay, okay, let me just chuck one of these inside of my turret real quick. And hold on, it says the ammo it needs are energy cells. So let me grab some energy cells and shove some of those inside of the turret as well. And all right, hold on, we gotta test this out. Let me try spawning in a zone zombie for testing purposes. Here we go, here we go. I'm gonna spawn it in right over here. Let's see, is the turret gonna work? Come on. Uh, oh, wait, hold on. I need to power the turret right. Let me grab another one of these energy cubes. Let me just find it really quick. Oh, there it is. Let's just put down this energy cube right over here next to it. And all right, turret, let's see what you got. And, pff, whoa, it just one shot at that zombie. Okay, well, that is pretty nice. But okay, now what we need to do is put another weapon inside of all of our other turrets. We still got one turret in this room and then another one in the other room. So let's see, what type of weapon should we put in this one? Let's do a different type of weapon. Let's see. Let's see. What are we working with here? And ooh, wait, what about the laser rifle? This thing sounds pretty cool. This is going to be kind of similar to that laser turret that we have on the outside of our submarine, like over here. I guess let's put this one down and see if it's any better. Let's just put that down over here. And oh, wait, this one also needs some energy cells for ammo. So let me grab some more energy cells. We can eat those right inside over there like that. And all right, let's test it out against another zombie. Let's see. Is this one going to work? Let's go. And oh, wait, hold on. I need to power it again. Let me put that another energy cube over here. And all right, Let's see this and whoa, that is awesome. Hold on, let me try spawning in like five zombies. Let's see if this is gonna work. And whoa, wait, the zombies are trying to destroy the turret. Hey, yo, come on, come on, turret. You got this. Take out all the zombies. Go, go, go. And come on, come on. Yes, let's go. The turret survived the zombie attack. Okay, that means it should be good enough to survive some sharks. And hey, yo, why is it looking at me like that? All right, but anyways, uh, let's see. We still have one more turret left over here on this floor that we need to put a weapon in. Hold on, where is it? Oh, there it is, right over there. Let's see. We need to find another type of weapon to put inside of this one. So what can we do here? And oh, wait a minute. Hold on. What about this one? It's called the PDW. I don't even know what that means, but 
Whoa, that is awesome! It's shooting like purple laser stuff. I don't even know what it's doing, but let's put that inside of the turret. Let's go. And here, let's also put in the ammo that this one needs. There we go. And all right, here, let's see what this one will do against the zombie. Here we go! Come on! And uh, okay, how do I always forget to power it? Let me put down the power cube over here. And all right, now let's see this. And Oh my gosh, that is awesome! Hey Kim, uh, why don't you try spawning in some more sharks inside of my submarine? Uh, I've uh, added some upgrades. Oh, you don't have to tell me twice. I'm on my way. And all right, all right, here we gotta test my submarine to see if it's shark proof. Let's go! Come on, let's see if my defenses will work. And oh wait, what the heck just happened? Whoa! Wait, my turret out here is blowing up the sharks. And whoa, whoa, Kim, chill! You're spawning in so many. <laughs> I, I, I think this is enough. I think this is definitely more than enough. And Wait, what? Oh, come on, turret over here. Let's go. Look at this turret. It's doing so much. It's taking out so many of them. Come on, come on. I think this one's the one with the sonic rifle. Yeah. They're breaking into your animal room. Let's go. Let's go. Wait, they're going in my animal room now. All right, let's see what this turret is going to do. Come on, turret. Let's go. Uh, wait, what the heck? Why is that turret not even there anymore? What the heck happened to it? It looks like it's still working, though. All right, I think that's enough. And oh my gosh, there are so many sharks inside of my base. But whoa, okay, my defenses like took them all out. Wait, wait, try spawning in one over here. Uh, okay, I'll spawn one in right here. And all Alright, let's go! Look at that! These turrets are awesome! Oh yeah, these turrets are pretty cool, but uh, I don't think they would stop a full-on shark invasion. And, dude, this was literally more than a full-on shark invasion, and they stopped, like, all of this. Well, what if something stronger than a shark starts invading your base? Uh, like what? Uh, I don't know. What about, like, a bigger shark? And, uh, dude, there's not gonna be any bigger sharks that try to invade my submarine, okay? If my submarine can survive against all of those sharks that you just spawned, then it could probably survive against anything. Wait, that reminds me of the time I saw a monster in the lake. And wait, what? You saw a monster in the lake? Yeah, it was, like, huge and had a really long neck and then it was like green or something. And what? What if that invades your submarine? Dash, be careful. And, uh, the, what? No, Ruby, uh, uh, what even is that that you're talking about? You said it had a really long neck? What type of animal that swims underwater has a long neck? Um, I don't remember. It had like a name, like um, Nechi or something. What? Uh, that sounds kind of weird. Are you sure that was real? Yeah, it's like the Loch Ness Not Monster or something. I don't remember. Uh, Ruby, uh, you know that's a myth, right? I don't think that's real. But then why did I see it? Huh? Uh, are you sure you saw it? Are you sure you didn't just see like a giraffe that was drowning? You said it had a long neck, right? Yeah, it had a long neck and it looks kind of like greenish in the dark. Uh, that's kind of weird, but I think my turret should be able to defend from pretty much anything. But hmm, what else do I need to build in my submarine? And wait a minute, I gotta build like the actual captain's area for whoever's gonna be steering the submarine. So here, I guess what I could do is build a little room over here on the bottom floor. I'm just gonna build a little bit higher than the regular floor. That way we can have this turret over here be covered up. And here, let's also build up the walls on the side. Let's go. This room is gonna be sick. There we go. This room is looking pretty nice. And here, let me also add a door over here. I'll put down one of these reinforced doors because these things look pretty strong. And let me also grab some stairs. Ooh, we can use these purple stairs. We can just have them going up over here like that. Nice! And now we gotta build the actual captain's area down here. So let's see. What do we need in here? I guess the first thing we need is, of course, one of these captain's chairs. So we could put that down over there. Let's grab another one of these ship control panels and we could just put that right over here to the side. But hmm, what else do I need to build in the captain's room? And wait a minute, hold on. I'm gonna need a map, definitely. Let me grab some item frames really quick and also a map. So here, we could just put down the map over here like that. And hold on, let me actually go fill in all of this map real quick. I'm just gonna break out over here. Let me just fly all the way over here so that the map is fully filled in. There we go. And here, now let's hop back inside of our submarine. And all right, check it out. Now when we put the map inside of the item frame, it's fully filled in. Check it out. We can get like a full view of everything around us. But anyways, now the captain room is done. We've got a farm, we've got the living quarters, and we've got a bunch of turrets, but hmm, what else should we build? And wait a minute, I think I have a pretty good idea. What if we build some more turrets? But hear me out, hear me out. They're not gonna be normal turrets like these ones over here. Instead, what we're gonna do is have some epic turrets that you can control from inside of the ship. So what I was thinking is we could have some dispensers and uh, where could we put them? Uh, I guess we can have some dispensers over here. Yeah, we could have them be over here like this. We could have some more over here on this side. And then let me go inside of the submarine real quick. What I was thinking is inside of these turrets, we could put some of these crazy OP fireballs. And uh, what the heck? Why is there a poop charge fireball? Hold on, wait, I want to test this thing out. Let me try putting this inside of the dispenser really quick and let me grab a lever and uh, let's just test out what this poop charge is going to do. Let's give this a shot real quick. Let's, let's give it a go and... Uh, it is literally just a poop charger. What the heck? Hey, guys, uh, my submarine has a poop turret on it. What? That's gross. Uh, no, no, guys, it's, it's really good. It's um for in case there's any enemies in front of me and I need to shoot some poop at them. Wait, so your submarine is a butt? Uh, dude, no, my submarine is not a butt. It, it, it's a poop turret. Yeah. 
it underwater too? You're polluting the water. And no, no, poop is good. It's like good fertilizer. I'm pretty sure it's just fine. Ew, I'm not getting anywhere near your submarine. And okay, good. It, that means it's working as a good defense. It's keeping people away. Uh, not really a defense. It's more just gross. And okay, okay, whatever you say. But anyways, there's also a lot of other types of defenses. Like check this one out. It's called a whirlwind charge. Let me try putting that inside of this dispenser. And all right, let's test out this one. Let's see what this does. And whoa, check it out. I can literally shoot a, a little mini tornado thing. And oh, it also shoots the poop alongside it. Okay, hold on. Maybe the poop turret is a little bit weird. I'm going to take the poop out. We don't need that. What about instead of poop, we use this thing. It's called the Fae Bolt Charge. I have no idea what this is going to do, but I guess let's test it out real quick. Let's put down this lever over here. And all right, let's see it. Whoa, what the heck did that just shoot? I don't even know what that did, but that's cool. We'll leave that in there. Now it's time to fill up the dispensers on the other side. Let's see what other types of cool fireball things are there. And ooh, wait, what about the Aqua Pulse Charge? This thing looks pretty cool. It's got Aqua in its name, so it's like water -y, hopefully. Let's try testing it out. Let's see. What is it going to do? And whoa, check it out. It's like a water fireball. That's sick. And ooh, wait, wait, wait. Hold on. What about this spectral bolt charge? I don't know what this thing does, but it sounds cool. Let's put that in and let's test this one out. Let's see. What's it going to do? And whoa, that looks sick. Whoa, that one goes a lot farther than the other ones. And all right, well, we still got one empty dispenser left to fill. So what type of charge do we put inside of this one? Let's see. And ooh, wait a minute. What about this one? It's called the arcane laser storm charge. This sounds OP. Let's put that in and let's test it out. Let's see. What is it going to do? And whoa, okay, that looks pretty OP. It's, what the heck is that? Okay, I don't even know what that did, but that is awesome. Here, now what we need to do is connect all of these dispensers together. So let me just grab a little bit of redstone. And what we'll do is just connect all of the dispensers on this side with some redstone. And then we have to connect them to the dispensers on this side as well. So let's just have a little bit of redstone going up over here like this. There we go. Now we just got to connect it on this side. Boom, there we go. And all right, nice. They should be connected. Now what we can do is go inside of the captain's room over here and just put down a button right over here on the roof and check it out. Now, whenever we hit this button, it should fire all the turrets. Let's go. That is awesome. All right. Well, anyways, now we've got the OP turrets. We've got the, the other OP turrets. We've got the farm and we've got our living quarters. I think our submarine should be done. Uh, yeah, my submarine's done too. I'm ready to race. Oh, me too. And wait, guys, that means all our submarines are done. We should take a look at each other's. Oh yeah, we should check out mine first. It's totally the best. And okay, okay. If you say so, uh, I guess let's check it out. Where do we start? Well, this is the start of my submarine and it's a keypad door that only I know the fast word too, so everybody come on in. And whoa, you have a keypad door? That is awesome! Yep, and here is the first room of the submarine. Whoa, this area looks awesome! Wait, what is that? Wait, what, what, what is this? Wait, why I'm are you leaving. scared of it? Oh, it's a drawing of the Loch Ness Monster. I wanted to prank her. And, wait, what? Is this that monster you were talking about in that lake? I'm not coming back down until those drawings are gone. Come on, Ruby. Get rid of them. It's not that scary. It's just a drawing. It, it literally looks like a, a weird shaped island. How is this scary? Well, you wouldn't know unless you saw it in person. Okay, now get rid of it. Uh, fine, I'll get rid of it. Uh, okay. Thanks. Okay, now I'm coming back down. And wow, this place is pretty cool. And well, yeah, you even have two fridges. That's kind of cool, but wait, your fridges are empty. Where's the food at? Oh, they're in the cabinets. Wait, there's some food down here, but uh, it looks kind of funny. And, uh, what the heck? Why is it pink? Is that cake? No, I think it's lasagna, but it might be bad. Yeah, wait, Kale, what type of food do you have in your submarine? Yeah, did you cook this yourself? Uh, no, I had special chefs repair it, and it's actually super good, uh, but uh, check it out. We over here have the captain's area. And wait, why do you have a self-destruct lever? Can I press this thing? What is it? Uh, don't press it. That will blow up every single one of us. Are you sure? Uh, yeah, I'm positive. I rigged it, but uh, I, it's for uh, reasons. Uh, Okay, but anyways, th this area looks pretty nice. You have a pretty good view for the captain, but hold on. What do you have over here in the back? I saw you have a... Whoa, that's a pretty fancy door, and Oh, well, Ruby, I wouldn't suggest coming into this room. Oh, what? What's going on? What's in that room? <laughs> and, uh, yeah. Uh, okay, we should probably take those down, but... Wait, is this your bedroom? This looks pretty cool. Yeah, this is my bedroom, and this is my armory over here. And, whoa, wait, you even have your own little window down here? This is awesome. Uh, actually, two of them. Nice! Well, I don't want to go in there anyways. You probably have cooties. All right, all right. Well, anyways, does this thing actually even run? Uh, you have a lot of stuff on here. It might be too heavy. Oh, does it actually run? Let me show you. Let me just get in my seat and turn this thing on and let's get going whoa wait we're moving this thing is awesome and uh, wait wait where'd ruby go i don't see her i'm right here kim you're such a horrible driver what are you talking about i'm the best driver in this thing uh, super whoa, 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 dude, chill 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 take it easy i think i'm gonna throw up whoa whoa, whoa dude, go easy with the intense turns you guys just can't handle the speed uh, uh, dude I, I think you're going too fast what is going on why am i up 
here! Don't chill! Uh, you guys just can't handle the speed, can you? And, oh gosh, but Cam, you don't even have any passenger seats! Hold on, wait, you have couches over here. I'm hopping in the couches and- Oh, no. Dude, I just fell out of your submarine. How did that happen? But anyway, uh, I'll just park it here. And, uh, okay, well, I think that's enough with your submarine. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Yeah, I do not want to be in here anymore. And, yeah, that submarine was, uh, pretty nice, but- Hold on, Ruby, can we check out your submarine? Yours looks, uh, pretty interesting. Wait, is this- are you sure it's a submarine? Um, yeah, it's a submarine, but Cam, let me out of your sub! Oh, okay. And, oh yeah, you should probably park that thing, but whoa, wait, Ruby, I'm checking out your submarine right now. This kind of looks more like a really long tower. Hey, you're not even waiting for me! It's my sub! And, okay, 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 I'll wait for you here. You can give us the proper tour. Alright, everyone, are you ready to go to the party sub? And, wait, the party sub? That's what this thing is? Yeah, it's the fun marine! Let's go! Fun marine? What does that mean? Um, it's a submarine where you have fun, duh. Whoa, wait, is this the armor that you stole from my submarine? Oh, yeah, maybe it is. I'm not sure. I don't remember. Are you sure that happened? And, uh, yes, that happened, but, okay, what else do you have inside of this submarine? Whoa, you have a lot of, uh, are these arcade games? Oh, yeah, these are arcade games, and then here's my bed, and, like, there's the captain's chair or whatever. And, uh, what the heck? This room is so messy. There's your bedroom? Yeah, isn't it nice? I can sleep and steer the ship at the same time. And, oh, oh, yeah, yeah, it's really nice. And, oh, Cam, I see what you did. Wait, Ruby, you should come check this out. Ah! Get rid of that now! Oh, my goodness. I can't believe she fell for that. Cam, you're so mean to me. <laughs> okay, well, let's just go check out the next floor. Um, if we go down, here's my dance floor. And, oh, oh, there's that dance floor you were talking about. This is pretty cool. And, whoa, wait, you have a lot of jukeboxes here. What the heck? I thought you were joking. No, I was telling the truth. Duh, wait, 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 wait. You guys should get on the stage and stand behind the mics. And, uh, okay, wait, what are we supposed to do up here? Are you supposed to... Hey, hey, stop that. Stop that. Get rid of that right now. Get rid of that right now. Ah, uh, fine. Okay, now you guys should sing a heartfelt duet to each other. And, uh, what? We have to sing a song? Uh, I, I think I'll pass on that. What? Have you guys never sung karaoke together as friends? Are you guys even real friends? I, no, but... Not to each other. That's kind of weird. Yeah, that is kind of weird. Well, okay. If you guys don't want to sing to each other, that's fine. But why don't you guys have a rap battle for fun? Wait, a rap battle? Yeah, do it. Are you sure you want to do a rap battle, Dash? You will go down. Uh, what? No, dude, I can rap way better than you. Uh, are you sure about that? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. You go first. Uh, what? I go first? No, you challenged me. You go first. Uh, okay, okay. Fine, fine, fine. I'll go first. Hold on. Let me, let me think for a second. Um... Okay, okay. I got it. Yo, yo. My name is Dash. All of my builds are not trash. Uh, but your builds are trash, and your name is Kim, which means, um, uh, yeah, uh, was that good? Woo, that was awesome! Let's go! You can't rhyme trash with trash! Yeah, I can, I just did. Yeah, can you do any better, Cam? Uh, yeah, I can 100% do better. Dash more like trash, building super garbage, always trying to build on my plot, always cheating, always losing, but because he knows I am better... Yeah. And, uh, Cam, I, I don't think any of those words rhymed. Well, anyway, uh, Ruby, what's next? <laughs> Did he get embarrassed? Let's go back upstairs. And, yeah, yeah, here, let's check out what you have up here. I saw you have quite a few floors, and, oh, wait, there's more jukeboxes in here. Yeah, it's for the ambiance. This is my restaurant. And, wait, you have a restaurant? Yeah, sit down, guys, sit down. Why is all the food cakes and cookies? What? You guys weren't supposed to look. That's a spoiler. Uh, okay, but, I, I mean, this is pretty nice, but none of the food here is really healthy. Well, you guys can share. Yeah, do you have any lasagna? I mean, no, I don't have any lasagna, but if you want something else, um, what a, this is kind of close. Uh, what the heck is that? It's like a rotted cake. What? No, it's a mushroom cake, you sillies. Uh, Ruby, that is not a mushroom cake. That is a cake with a mushroom growing out of it. What? You gotta get your veggies in. Uh, yeah, well, uh, anyway, is there anything else up here? And Yeah, yeah, you have one more floor. What do you have up here? And, oh, wait, you have another microphone. Yeah, this is supposed to be the comedy lounge. And wait, the comedy lounge? Oh, wait, does that mean like people tell jokes a lot. Wait, you gotta say some jokes. Say something funny. Oh, uh, I have to say something funny. Um, I I can try. Um, uh, uh what is a fish's favorite letter? And uh, fish's favorite letter. Uh, I don't know. It's C. Oh, oh, cause they oh. live in the the like water. Oh, oh, I see, I see. Why aren't you laughing? I mean, it was all right. I, I could tell a way better joke though. What? Ugh, you try. And, okay, okay, I got a better idea. Okay, um, who's yellow and smells like pee? Can Camp, camp. Yeah, let's go! <laughs> yeah! See, that was super funny. Everyone's laughing. Well, all right, you know what? I've got a joke. You get back down there. And, okay, okay, let's see what you got. All right, knock, knock. Uh, who's, who's there? Who's there? 
Uh, I'm ugly, I stink, and uh, I have paint all over my face. I wear a purple sweater. My builds are always bad, and uh, I, I always, um, and I always overcomplicate everything. What's the, who am I? Cam, how could you say that about me? And, well, Whoa. I, I was talking about Dash. <laughs> I, I said, what? how do you think it's about you? I said Dash has paint all over his face. I'm so sad I have to eat some mushroom cake. Oh, oh, you're actually eating that. Ew. Yeah, I'll never be that sad ever. Uh, but is that everything for your tour? Um, yeah, that's all of it. All right, all right. Well, you guys want to move on to my submarine now? Uh, it's probably the best one here. It doesn't really look like much on the outside, but once you go in, it, it's like a whole mini city in there. It's crazy. I mean, we didn't even play the arcade games, but sure, let's go to yours. And yeah, yeah we don't have time for arcade games. My submarine is too cool. We have to see it right now. Everyone, just follow me over here through the top uh, trap door thingy. What in the world is this? There's so much redstone. And yeah, yeah, ignore the redstone. It's just, oh, you're putting more paintings down. <laughs> <laughs> wow, uh, okay, let's just uh, get rid of those for now for the tour, but anyways, guys, this is my submarine. What do you think? Uh, I think it's very purple. Yeah, because that's the best color, and anyways, this right over here is the captain's room. Uh, hey, Cam, why don't you try hitting that button up there real quick? Uh, okay, what is this gonna do? And it, that, the? my friend, activates the turrets! It is awesome, isn't it? Uh, yeah, but uh, I didn't know it was gonna be that close to my submarine. Oh, did it explode? Did Cam's submarine explode yet? And no, 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 these ones don't explode, unfortunately. We actually do have one turret that explodes. It's right down there. It's kind of looking at us right now. Whoa, that's cool. But anyways, here, let me show you guys the next part of my submarine. Right over here is the farm area. Check it out. It looks like all of our crops are grown. We've got some wheat seeds. We've got some watermelon seeds up here. We've got like every type of plant, and we've also got some animals. Uh, you realize uh, the watermelon and uh, pumpkins need like a block to grow on, right? And yeah, they've got a bunch of blocks here. What are you talking about? Yeah, they need a block next to them. They can't grow like this. And oh, oh, uh, well, that's fine. Uh, I can just put blocks next to them later. Well, this farm looks cool regardless. And, oh, yeah, yeah, this water stuff is super cool. What do you guys think of the water flowing? I like it. I think it's just all right. And why do you only have one chicken? Uh, it's because you spawned a bunch of sharks, Cam, and they probably ate the chickens. Oh, yeah, that reminds me sharks. And, 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 Cam, ah! show! And, wait a minute. Actually, ew, hold on, ew, hold on, hold on. This is a good demonstration of my uh, interior defense system. Check it out. Look, I've got defenses on the inside of my base, which can take out the sharks. And, oh, wait, you're spawning in even more over here. But check it out. My sonic rifle is doing the trick and getting rid of them. Well, what if I start spawning a bunch on the Sonic Rival? Cam, stop it! Chill with the sharks! Oh my gosh! Okay, okay, I, I think there's enough sharks. We've already seen that my uh, submarine can defend against sharks. Yeah, I think that the sharks are cute, but this is loud and annoying! And yeah, here, everyone pull out a sword. Let's get rid of these things. Alright, well, anyway, Dash, what's the next part of your tour? And, uh, I would show you guys the next part. If these if the sharks weren't here, hold on, we gotta get rid of these things first. Cam, you put them all here. You get rid of them! I, I did! There we go! And uh, let's move out of the tour! And, okay, okay, the next part of my tour is right over here. This is the living quarters slash armory room. Check it out. We've got all the bunk beds over here, and we've got a bunch of scuba diving gear over here. What? How many people are living in your submarine? And uh, I don't know. Hold on. Let me count my beds. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. That is how many people can fit in my submarine. Uh Ruby, are you all right? I can't take it off. Uh, what, did you try to put on one of the scuba diving helmets? Wait, can you even see out of that thing? Your eyes are like covered by the bottom. It's, don't get so close. I can see. I can see, but it's just, uh, I can't get it off. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I guess you're just going to have to live with that. Well, anyway, uh, does this thing drive? And, oh, oh, yeah. This thing definitely drives. Hold up. Um, follow me right over here. I'll hop into the captain's seat. Let me just pull up over here. And here, let me just quickly turn on the submarine. There we go. And all right, everyone get ready. This is your captain speaking. We you're oh, now driving. <laughs> and, oh, oh, wait, Campbell. I think I uh, may have uh, hit your submarine. Oh, wait, don't mind if I do. Let me just hit this button real quick. You sure? What the heck? Uh, I need to test my defenses. And whoa, wait, check it out. That one's actually exploding. Uh, you know what? I, that's it. I'm going to hit my self-destruct button. And, uh, wait, what? Oh, gosh, I forgot you had that. Oh, I'm going to back away from your submarine. I kind of want to see what it does, though. Wait, you should hit submarine more. Yeah, Dash, come on. Come closer. Uh, no, you said you're going to hit your self-destruct button. I don't think I really want to get closer. Uh, this is how close I'm going. Wait, Cam, you're not that close to my sub, are you? Uh, no. And uh, actually, Dash, I've got a better idea. Instead of you coming to me, I could just come to you. And, oh, no. Is he moving a submarine? Oh, gosh. Uh, I, I gotta go. I'm going this way. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Are we racing now? It's a submarine battle! Wait, Dash, I'm gonna be sick. Stop it! And uh, the Ruby, just hold on. I think go to, uh, sit in, like, the passenger seat or something. And, oh, wait, I don't have any passenger seats. Yeah, hold on to what? The ladder? Oh, I'm on you, Dash. And, oh, my gosh, Cam, get away from me. I don't even know where you are. I can't really see you right now. Wait, Ruby, is he close? Um, um, I 
don't know. I feel like I'm gonna be sick. Cam, stay away from my submarine. You better not blow anything up. Uh, I'll go as close to your submarine as I want to, boy. And okay, Ruby, I think we should be safe over here. I don't see Cam. Uh, no, you're not getting away that easy. And, wait, wait, what? what? What's going on? Is he around us? What? Oh, no. no. What the heck? There we go. Uh, wait, Ruby, he just blew up my submarine. Oh, gosh, wait, quick. We have to head to the emergency submarine. Um, sure, you can do that. I'm just gonna go this way. Oh, uh, my submarine is literally sideways. I gotta swim over to the emergency submarine. Where is it? Oh, here it is. You have fun with that, Dash. Oh, gosh, wait, my submarine is sticking. Hold on, I gotta hit this button over here. There we go. All the blocks are open, and here, let me hop inside of this submarine. Come on, come on, let me in. Oh, gosh, and yes, I'm in the emergency backup submarine. Come on, come on, I just gotta hop in the seat, and okay, yes, I'm driving it, and okay, okay, yes, finally, I got my little escape submarine out of my main submarine, and Whoa, wait, Cam, you really blew your submarine up. Yep, that's the self-destruct button. Phew, okay, well, good thing I've got this backup submarine. That was pretty crazy, and if you want to watch the next video, then click on the video on the screen right now.